guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button before leaving so you don't miss any of my future videos. So today is all about um, things in October that I have been loving. So I kind of decided to change it to October loves versus October favorites because honestly, I don't see how you can have uh, different favorites from month to month, but you definitely can have different things that you're loving and using. So I really like October loves. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so some of the things that I've been loving is first this scarf. I love leopard print, and this scarf is such an affordable scarf. It adds a great pop of leopard to any outfit. Um, it will also keep you nice and warm. Um, don't really have that problem here in Florida, but it's definitely stylish, and it's super cute. Um, the next thing I'm gonna go into is also leopard print. If you follow me on Instagram, I've mentioned these shoes on Instagram and a couple of my outfits that I've posted. Um, I am a teacher. And it is really hard for me to find comfortable flats that don't give me blisters, and these fit the bill. I can stand in them all day long. Um, I don't have any problems. They're super, super cute, um, and of course they're leopard. So I love them. They also come in a lot of other prints as well, not just the leopard. Okay, and then the last shoe item, I posted um, these New Balance sneakers, I wanna say like three maybe videos ago um, for my loves, but I hadn't had a chance to wear them. Um, they're kind of like a dove gray, and I love them. They are so comfortable to walk in. I love that they are just like um, the gray Adidas or Nikes that a lot of people love, but they're a lot more um, affordable, and I love that shimmery end, and they just go with light outfits, dark outfits. They're just so, so cute. So I highly recommend these sneakers. Okay, anyone who's been watching my channel for any time knows that I know everybody loves Lash Paradise. And I love the way it looked on my eyes, but during the day it would flake and it would get all down here. There was times where I'm trying to get it out of my eye while teaching and it was so uncomfortable. Um, so I was on the hunt for something else. So this mascara, Maybelline Total Temptation, I have loved. I have it on my eyes now. This is with two coats. It elongates, it um, separates your lashes. It's just so pretty and it does not flake during the day. So I've really, really been enjoying this mascara. Something else I have been enjoying is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I first tried the Wet n Wild one, which is absolutely beautiful, and I recommend that too. It's more of a light coverage, though. Um, this Maybelline one gives like the same beautiful finish to your face as the Wet n Wild, but it's more of a medium. So I've really been enjoying this one as my everyday go-to foundation. Um, to get ready quick before work, I just grab this real quick. Oh, talking about this, though, it does have a mirror. It does come with this little applicator. I don't use the applicator, as you can see, it's all clean. Um, I just use my Real Technique sponge and I dip it right into here. I keep the cover on hoping that it'll make it from not drying out as quickly, but I dip it right in there and then just put press it onto my face and that's how I apply it. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. So I definitely recommend this one or the Wet n Wild one. Then I was trying the um, Rapid Repair line by Neutrogena and I love their SPF day one, but I, when I added in the nighttime cream, my face obviously did not like all the retinol that I was putting on it. So I started to get dry and flaky and itchy. It just was not pretty. So I switched back to the Oil A Regenerist. I used to use this for years, um, but then I kind of stopped when I was trying other products and I love it. As you can see, I'm almost completely out of it and we'll have to buy another one. But this one has so many great ingredients in it um, and it really, is a great luxurious moisturizing cream. I know Angie Hot and Flashy even mentioned this being a really great night cream. So I really, really enjoy this one. It, I haven't had any problems with my skin with it and I highly recommend it. Okay, about three weeks ago, I had extremely, extremely dry lips. They were all cracked in the corners. It really, really hurt. I tried everything. I tried, let's see, I tried Vaseline lip therapy. I tried um, aquifer. I tried chapstick. I tried, what else did I try? Vaseline, just regular Vaseline. Nothing was working. Oh, and Carmax. I tried Carmax as well. Um, and nothing, nothing seemed to be making it better. I gave it about a week and it still wasn't. And I was kind of at a loss. So I started to do an Amazon search and I came across these two products and I don't know if it was using them together as a combination or what, but it worked and my lips are back to being happy. Um, so this one is a lip scrub. It's peppermint. Oh, it smells so good. Um, but you scrub it on your lips while I did when I was in the shower and it automatically gave like this hydration to your lips, which might've been what helped, um, the process. And then when I got out of the shower, I put on this serum 
and the two together, I'm not gonna say it's a miracle worker, it did not work overnight, but I wanna say in about four to five days, my lips started feeling better and then they went back to normal. So I'm super, super loving these. So I know with fall and the winter uh, coming up, if you have chap lips, highly recommend trying these two together. And then another love is of course on my lips. I love this red color, it's a bluish red, it's a lip gloss. I always have the problem of lipstick, if I wear dark colors, not sticking to the inside of my lips. Um, it looked really funny. So I really, really like this lip gloss. Um, it's by, who is it by? Um, lip Glace, I forget who this is by. Um, Laura Mercier, okay. And I really like it, this is the color Poppy, um, but the formula is not sticky at all. Um, it's super, super hydrating on the lips. It's comfy to wear. I've worn it all day. Um, last year for Halloween when I was Wonder Woman, I had it on. And um, it's just a beautiful formula and it wears very nicely. You will have to reapply it, um, but I really, really like it. Another product that I have been loving is I haven't really been having to fill in my brows very much because I've been using this, I think you say it Brow Vow, Brow Vow <laughs> um, conditioner um, by Benefit. I just put it on at nighttime. I know the girl when I bought it at Ulta said that I could put it on in the AM or PM, but to be honest with you, when you open it up, it has like this little foot thing and you twist the bottom and it comes out with this clear gel that you just kind of brush right into your brows. Um, I guess if I didn't put so much on it, it wouldn't be bad, but I tend to like lather it on. And um, in the morning time, I noticed that it's all dried and kind of has like this, um, kind of like scaly look. Um, so I've never used it during the daytime. I've only used it at nighttime, but I have to say, I thought the girl was just trying to make a sale, but it did work. It definitely has filled in um, places in my brows and I don't have to use as much brow product. So I've really been liking this. I think this is like my third um, tube of it. And this is the mini size. Something else, if you've been following me on Instagram, is I love this watch. It's under, I wanna say $35, $40. Um, but it looks just like the high-end ones that are like 200 plus. It has like that off-white um, band, which I love, and then the gold hardware. It's so, so pretty. I wear this every single day. I'm not worried about if I do anything to it because of the price point, um, but I love it. So I will link it down below, um, but this to me is like a super great buy for the price and just how beautiful it looks, and it looks just like the ones that you can get for 200 and above dollars. It's beautiful. And then the last item I wanna share with you is a lot of people who know me know that I am not much of a reader. I actually fall asleep to reading. So for me to like a book and wanna stay reading it is a huge thing. Um, I have been reading Girl, Wash Your Face. I'm about halfway through um, and I have really been loving this. I love how she talks about like different truths or actually myths, I should say, that we say to ourselves or lies that we say to ourselves that kind of hold us back from doing things that we might love or things that might help us to push forward and motivation. So this has really been an awesome read and I'm really, really enjoying it. So if you have not picked up this book from someone who is not much of a reader, I highly recommend it. It is really, really good. I'll probably do a, bo a blog post on it soon because I'm really, really loving this. So that's all the things I have for October. I, um, I hope that you will try some of them and I hope you love them just as much as me. And once again, if you have not subscribed, I'd love for you to do so before leaving. The button is right down there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.